Time is now 521. Coming up, Rick Rowe takes us to Centenary College, home of the only student-run French publishing company in the country. He'll tell you how this college is preserving a piece of Louisiana history. Our time right now is 526. He's back from Africa. I guess you could say he's out of Africa. He's been doing a little research closer to home these days. Yeah, Rick Rowe is here, and he didn't have to go far to down the street for this morning's uh, story. Yeah, about 15 so, yards. Yeah, we're Centenary College, right, and this yeah. is really neat, something that most people, we certainly didn't know this even existed. Yeah, be very careful. I don't know if you yeah. can see this, folks. And this is, like, amazing to be holding a newspaper written October 31st. That would have been Halloween. Did they mm -hmm. have Halloween back, back in the day? Depends. 1826. I'm not sure if they had it there then or not. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway. that actually was printed, published printed. in 1826. 1826, camera three. There it is. Now, mm. this is a va and this is the real deal. It's not a copy. It was actually in an archive. It's actually mm -hmm. owned by the good folks at Centenary College. Owned. I guess they have it. I don't know if you own mm -hmm. it. But anyway, the great thing that's happening over there, and it's the only college in America, listen to this, that is taking old French newspapers and poems and songs, some of them written 200 years ago, and republishing in brand new books and, uh, and newspaper forms uh, and selling them. And, and allowing universities all over the mm -hmm. country to use them as well. So it's an amazing thing. And the kids are doing it. It's almost all student-led. They're mm -hmm. taking old newspapers like this. And this was the only form of communication in the day, back in 1826. Mm -hmm. So in this are stories. Con all of these are stories. And then they take these stories from the newspaper and they reprint them in mm -hmm. a book. And it's all in French? It's all in French, right. They're trying to preserve the French language and heritage. Very, very popular. You know, there are 100,000 French-speaking Cajuns still in Louisiana, really? and they mm -hmm. love this stuff. And it's mm -hmm. different variations of French, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Modern Acadian. Wow. So, okay. I didn't stuff. know that, but anyway. Good stuff. All right. Okay. Rick's going to be with us good throughout stuff. the morning yeah. with uh, much more of this. Very interesting. We'll try to do some translation. Yes. Our time Dude. is 528. We're going to be doing Ed, that. Ed can read old French. Uh -huh. And petit peu. <laughs> You know, it seems like uh, we're constantly hearing that Centenary College has once again been named one of the who's who of American colleges. That's because this little college is always doing things unique in the country, and that includes the story you're about to see. The words were written down perhaps 200 years ago, a very old French Creole ballad that might have died. Except that in the 1930s, this woman said no. And she went around Louisiana collecting songs from the natives, um, native Creole songs and French songs, and she wrote them down. Then Leah found the manuscript in New Orleans. Today she sits at a computer at Centenary College, carefully preserving those ancient lyrics. And Leah is not alone. In fact, for more than five years now, students at Centenary have been taking very old French words and making them new again. This French Creole book, for instance, was one of only 300 published way back in 1881. Students at Centenary, with the help of French language professor Dana Crest, turned this into this. And they have done the same with all of these books. And they're not just gathering dust. Uh, many of these books, uh are being used in uh, places like Purdue and uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette, University of Missouri, uh, NYU, University of Virginia. The Centenary students are also publishing the only French language newspaper in Louisiana. In addition to preserving these ancient French words, these kids are learning the art of publishing. Piece by piece, they pulled sections of their lives away and gave them to the commander. The Centenary student Charles Eddy wrote a book had it edited and re-edited and re-re-edited. Got a fellow centenary student to do the book cover. And today, he's a published author. All of it from start to finish done by students. Right, if I'm done this, I, I would have probably just a manuscript still as the same manuscript that I wrote in high school. And now it's a completely published work. He was even more surprised to see that they were let through the gates. His heart New words to bound right. together. It was over. Old words digitized. All alive. 
because I don't want the songs to die. I want the, the culture. Um, songs are very much part of the culture as much as the literature. So um, I want it to be living. She has a beautiful yeah. voice, oh, doesn't like a she? Oh, songbird. Obviously a member of the Centenary College Choir. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's amazing about that is she was literally singing lyrics that were written down probably 200 years and maybe another 100 years before that mm. done orally. That's the kind of thing that they're preserving mm -hmm. at Centenary College. And it's done all by the kids. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah student-run publishing company. Yeah, I and, mean, the, who and that's the other thing. That one of the boys there actually wrote a, a, anyway, we don't have the time, but you can literally write your book and have it published right there, done all by the students. Mm. It's amazing. All right, Rick, we'll have much more coming up at our next hour. You bet. Rick, thank you. Mm -hmm. Check this out. See these kids? These are all students at Centenary College, mm -hmm. and they're working to preserve really, really old literature. Most of it French, Creole, some of it dating back several hundred years, and uh, they are the only college in America doing this. It is an amazing program and we have the guy that started it all, the it's creator. It's really nice to be here with you this morning. This, is, this is Dr. Dana Kress. He is a professor of, uh, in, of French a at Centenary College. Oh three, you decided to begin to preserve these ancient stories, ancient newspapers, books, songs that were vanishing, right? That's and right. you took it upon yourself to do it. Now you've been doing it for five years. Only college in America doing this kind of thing. And it's amazing. In fact, you've got some books there that look like they're about to fall apart, and they're very rare. In fact, in some cases, you have the only copy in the world. Well, that's right, and uh, it's so important to preserve this stuff. Mm -hmm. People don't realize it, but uh, until the Louisiana Purchase, English was only one of many languages spoken here in the United States. So imagine uh, the fact that we only know about half of our literature. Right. And that's what the real case is. We only know half the literature. So these other voices have many things to say. Was this your personal collection? Oh, no. Uh, we work in archives throughout the United States. Right. We go visit individuals who have collections. We find this stuff all over the place. Right. What about the French language, though? Is, is it dying as a lot of families, especially the Acadians, the Cajuns, they don't use it as a primary language anymore? Well, there are many people who actually do use it. Uh, right. There's 150,000 people right. in Louisiana right. for whom French is the first language and the language at home. So I think it would be really a mistake to say that it's dying out. It's changing. And in fact, Centenary Col College actually is, is pr printing the only French language newspaper in the state of Louisiana. And you well, get checks. In, in the United States. In the United that States. That is produced right. in the United oh. States. And you get true. checks from some old Cajuns in South Louisiana. Well, we do. There are a lot of people throughout the state mm -hmm. who will just send us checks. Sometimes it's $10 or $20. And frequently their hands will shake because you can tell that they're older and they really appreciate this yes. connection with their youth. And right. they want to preserve and that heritage. They want to preserve right. that heritage. We have much more coming up at our next half hour of KTBS yeah. 3 First News. Very Rick, cool. Otto, thank you for coming in. Yeah, it's been a pleasure much. to be here. Very interesting. Our time right now is 629. We'll have much more First News when we come back. Stay with us.